Hello everyone, my name is Adam Repos Vox, and welcome back to another tutorial relating to emulation in Pokemon ROMs. This is something I've been doing since I was in middle school, so it's something I enjoy making tutorials on. Now, some Pokemon ROM hacks you may download for the Game Boy come in a .ips file format. This is a patch file. It does not actually play the game itself. It is a patch for the original ROM. And so, for this tutorial, you're going to need the original ROM of whatever ROM, you know, wh whichever po original Pokemon game your ROM hack is based off of. So, for example, this one I'm going to play here, Pokemon Advanced Adventure, it's based on the Leaf Green ROM. So, you need the Leaf Green ROM in order to patch to it. Now, you got to have the exact game, and it's got to be generally the US version. Uh, whatever, wherever you downloaded your ROM hack from is should be like the Poker Community website or something like that. It should tell you what you need, so make sure you're paying attention. You're going to need the Lips software, which you can download. It's Lunar IPS, which you can download from the link in the description below. And all that does is apply the IPS patch to your ROM. Now, you're going to want to make a copy of your ROM if you ever, or either remember where you downloaded it from, because if you ever want to play the original ROM, you're going to need another, you know, a clean copy, or if you want to patch more versions to it. So open up the zip file of the lips.zip uh, with your favorite zip opener. For me, it's 7-zip. You could use WinRAR or something like that. And drag out the lunarips.exe file and run it. Then you have just the basic options here. Just click Apply IPS Patch. And it will, assuming you're next to it, just find your your ROM hack.ips, double click it, and then find your ROM file, which is my leaf green here, and apply. File was successfully patched. Now if I rename it, you don't have to rename it, but just so I know what it is. Pokemon Advance Adventure. Now if I open it up in Visual Boy Advance, it will look a little different, presumably. Pokemon Advance Adventure. There we go. Hope this tutorial was helpful for you. It's fairly simple, but a lot of this stuff doesn't have updated tutorials, so I wanted to make some updated tutorials. If you don't know how to get Visual Boy Advance and emulate Game Boy games on your computer in the first place, a link to this... Uh, I should make a playlist. An emulation-based playlist will be in the description below or the video itself or in the YouTube card icon somewhere up here. Thank you for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. Let me know in the comments if you have any other, like, tutorial suggestions for stuff like this. And otherwise, I'll catch you in the next one.